Hi everybody, it's Wanda. Well, let me tell you something. I was not ready to start making any kind of videos yet because I was busy with other things, but I have come to the point where I am about ready to absolutely combust if I do not put everything down right now and take some time to uh, share some really, really important things with everybody. I love you guys. You're all so awesome. And, uh, you know, I've spent my whole life in the theater and there's, you know, the opening night is your one and only chance to have an opening night. And first impressions are just that. <laughs> They're first impressions and I wanted this to be perfect. But at this point in time, none of that matters anymore. Um, I'm sitting here in my bedroom with my my dogs. This is where I write. I'm working on my book right now. It's explaining a lot of things that are going on in the world, but there's no time to finish that before I start talking to you. And I really feel that, well, each one of us has a story and none are more important than the next. Uh, there are some of us, however, that have some stories that really need to be heard at this time. And our unique perspective is going to shed the light on truth and bring us together. We need to be uh, unified again. We're, we're getting so far away from the love that we truly have for each other, but that's for another video. What I do want to say right now is that my experience has, I just feel so fortunate and I'm going to get a little more comfortable here. I feel so fortunate that it was one of those situations where my life could have stopped right then and I would have had no more passion to do anything again. I injured myself in the last show I was doing and it was a life altering injury that had me in a very reclusive state for many years. And during that time I had a way out of this world, literally, spiritual rocket ride experience that began in uh, 2007 after I injured myself in December of 2006. That's the whole of the story as well. The blessing in all of this, the blessing in disguise, the silver lining to the cloud, was that I was able to have the opportunity to sit, as I'm doing right now, in front of my computer and watch what was beginning to unfold globally. It was the era of MySpace and my daughter Candace literally forced me to get on that MySpace. And well, MySpace, I ended up having a page there called MySpace the Miracle Network because that's what it became for me. As I watched like-minded kindred souls from around the world begin to magnetize one to another in that arena. That was a place where we had beautiful feeling pages with music. It was a place to experience what we were sharing. And that several years or a couple of years before Facebook even came on the scene was the time the world really started ascending into an awakened state of consciousness. I can't say it any other way. What I want to share with you today, so that this doesn't get too long-winded, is that this it is in no way political by any stretch of the imagination. This takes us totally out of the political arena of what's going on out there today, whether you're hearing it or not, because chances are you're not. And that's what I wanted to explain. During that time of MySpace into Facebook days, our community moved from MySpace to Facebook and then began growing exponentially. What amazed me is how the internet in one quantum leap forward brought all of these like-minded people together who were searching for the truth about many things. And boy, did we find it. The problem is right now, it is not being believed. So if I take this completely out of what's going on in your news or even in the alternative news that we have here on the internet, and take it to a time, the time we're in right now on the planet. This is the most exciting time to be alive. And there's so much we could be doing in a positive way to change things for the better and to truly usher in 
world peace and universal peace. Uh, there are so many people behind the scenes working on this and holding the light and the love for this to happen. In order to do that, we need to know what's really happening that has nothing to do, yet everything to do with politics. And that one thing is that there is most definitely in existence a deep state. And that's been thrown around a lot lately too. It is the deep state, shadow government, people who wanted to have world dominance and world control through a new world order. And that just is what it is. And that is what is crumbling right now. So just be aware that there are many of us out there posting things that are so very important to know about history, about our perspective from it. Um, as I said, from my perspective, I watched this unfold. This deep state, they set up the internet for their own nefarious reasons and then it got away from them because we the light workers found each other the truth tellers the truth feelers the truth researchers the truth knowers of which you will all become one of those soon we just band together and we hit critical mass and we're working every day to bring you what is truly happening. All we ask is that you open your hearts and your minds to learning some of, well, there's just so much. There's so much that's hidden from us. And it's time we learn what that is so that we can fix what's broken. I'm going to take a break right now. This is a practice run for me. I'm going to be talking to you probably a couple times a week from my writing sanctuary here. And um, I'll get more comfortable with it. I have so many things and so many places to send you to learn so many amazing things that will empower you to really, really be excited about life again and be excited about being the change you want to see. So I'm not Miss Technology and I'm just dealing with what I have here and my little red button. Shed the light on truth.com and shed the light on truth.org are going to be the places I begin to take my work along with many other really amazing awakened folks. I wish you love. I wish you peace, and until we meet again, no.